Hello YouTube, it's Supernova, back with more X-Plane 11. Today we're looking at normal takeoffs in the Cessna 172. Flaps, 0 degrees. Brakes, hold. Throttle, 2000 RPM. Engine gauges, check. Brakes, release. Throttle, full power. At low speed, with full power applied, spiral slipstream from the rotating propeller hits the left side of the vertical stabiliser, creating a tendency to yaw left. And as the propeller turns to the right, engine torque, creating an equal and opposite reaction, pushes the left wheel down and also creates a left turning tendency. Right rudder is used to maintain centre line. Call out airspeed alive with a positive airspeed indication. Lift the nose wheel at rotation speed, or VR, which is 55 knots, indicated airspeed. The main gear should lift at approximately 60 knots. As angle of attack increases, the propeller disc is no longer perpendicular to the relative wind. The propeller blades moving down have a greater angle of attack and produce more thrust than those moving up. The centre of thrust of the propeller disc moves towards the blade with greater thrust, and as the downward moving blade is turning to the right of the aircraft, it will tend to your left. Right rudder is also used to counter this P factor. The turn and bank indicator in clinometer indicates whether flight is coordinated. Accelerate to best rate of climb speed, or VY, which is 79 knots. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe.